Assalamu alaikum in the previous video we have discussed what is rickets and along with we also mentioned some diseases related to rickets and the number one is craniotibis the second one is harrison sulcus and the last is rickettic rosary so uh, one of these three videos we will three diseases we will discuss one in this video so let's get started what is craniotibis Craniotibis basically the disease of infants children and in newborn babies okay so it is mostly seen in newborns it is the softening of the bones craniotibis is the softening of the bones in infants which may be normally present in newborns it is seen mostly in the occipital and parietal bones parietal and occipital are the bones of skull and when these bones get soft it is the cranio tabis the location and what is and where is occipital and parietal located you can see these in this picture so this is occipital and parietal bones so cranio tabis is the softening of the these two bones so clinically it is detected by gentle pressure by thumbs over occipital or posterior parietal bones when we apply pressure on occipital and parietal we can see our thumb will be move downward it we can feel we can easily feel the softening of the these two bones okay so uh, when pressure is applied they will collapse they will underneath it okay in this video in this uh, by using this uh, we can detect the cranio tibis so this is the general and basically the cranio tibis disease and uh, number one point is when the cranio tibis in rickets if uh, rickets occur in old age so there is a thickening of the skull valves in children's it is the softening of the skull and when it occurs in old age it is the thickening of the skin skull okay so i hope you all get the point 